at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing at a Hey friends, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I am actually in my grocery room. We're gonna go ahead and start doing a little makeover here in the room. Uh, my oldest daughter, she wants a more boho style. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We've already had it kind of started with this and then with the basket wall going on over there. Um, but we're gonna put a little bit more into it to make it look more boho then while she does have like a pink wall here and the rest of the walls are purple so we're gonna go ahead and paint the walls as well um it's a uh, my daughter shares a room with my youngest daughter so they both have like this humongous bed over here already because they used to have uh twin individual beds but jayla just was always like wanting to sleep with her sister and then i guess with the two beds in the size of their room it would make it look um a little bit more less place area to like move around in the room and everything so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and show what you guys what the room is looking like now i'm going to start painting so the paints i'm going to be using we actually already have them so for this main wall where the headboard is at we're going to do the warm caramel color which is actually the what colors and the the brown color that I have in my bedroom um, besides my black wall and then the other three walls we're gonna do like a more cream beige color I'm gonna check if the bucket to that cream beige color paint has the name on there but I think it's not because I think that was a paint that my husband mixed two paint cans to make it um, so I'm probably not gonna be able to share the name of that color with you guys but it's like a very I'm gonna say like a white creamy color it's very pretty um so my daughter likes those two colors so we're gonna go ahead and start doing that so i'm gonna go ahead and start painting like i mentioned i'm gonna show with you guys what the room looks like now i'm not gonna take you guys through the whole process of painting the whole room since i already did that in our laundry room and it's just like the same process and everything and i don't want to board you guys so yeah so i will be painting off camera and then i'll bring out the camera once again when we start decorating and putting everything together so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys are new don't forget to click the little red subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more of my future videos i'm also planning the boys' bedroom to do some painting and a little makeover in there as well so yeah, i hope you guys enjoy so standing where the door is at this is what the room looks like so they do have that big old fabric um I think it's called a tapestry or something like that but yeah they have that going on there they have this big old bed that they share like i mentioned this whole main wall here is a really light pink the other ones are purple um so yeah, we're gonna be painting them this is the one that's gonna take the warm caramel color i like the ones i have in my room and then this wall that wall and the wall over here by the closet which is not much are going to be the more creamier beige color i'm going to be leaving jayla's desk there because she loves having that there so that will be back in the room i'm going to do a little makeover to bring this dresser to have more like a boho style i have something planned for that which you guys will see more up in the video and then she Jilla really doesn't use that so i probably put it in the garage and then when she wants to use it we could probably just bring it in or something and then i gotta fix all of that area over here but like i mentioned i'm gonna go ahead and start painting so let's go ahead and get started with that so i'm gonna show you guys quickly a little bit of what looks like over here i don't know why this wall is turning to a different color let me try and fix the lighting there for you guys Okay, well, it's still picking up a little off. It's more like a brownish, like a caramel, like a caramel candy type of color. Then the other one, like I mentioned, it was a really lighter beige color. You guys can see it over there too. Um, so yeah, the girls, my daughter made her bed this morning. I'm gonna undo it because I have a different comforter that I'm gonna put on their bed. It's not a new one. I've already had that one already, but it has um, some of the colors that we're going for for this room. Once again, these are the side dressers well the side tables that i got off of facebook market um they're really nice i really like them they have the little metal on the feet and then here's a close-up of the lamps i got the girls from 
uh, the Amazon. So I think these are really cute. Still giving that little boho vibe with the brown part here. And then they just have the little flicker switch here to easily turn on and off. Um, so yeah, the girls really liked it, these two. I really enjoyed like the metal part, the mesh that it has. I thought that was really cute too. And then on this side, well, Jayla's desk is there and all kinds of junk and the dressers too. Like I mentioned, I'm going to do a DIY easy project that's going to cost like $2 or less to do for the dresser. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Just wanted to share with you guys what the room is looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the DIY for the girls' dresser. So for here what I'm going to do is that the face part, I'm not sure if I just want to do this part or like the whole part of the dresser, but I am going to be covering it up with this Dollar Tree contact paper that gives like a wood color. So for this, to do this project, all I'm going to be needing is the contact paper, something to smooth out all the air bubbles and everything from the contact paper then i'm also going to be using a scissors and an extracto knife is the, to go ahead and cut that out um but like i mentioned i'm not sure if i just want to do like this area here or do like the whole part because i am leaving this and the rest of it white plus the door the little um drawer knobs are also white so i'm gonna go ahead and put it here and see how that works out because it does have like a little lamp inside so I don't know if it's gonna stick well is there but we're gonna go ahead and try it out okay so after putting the paper here I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and just do this part here because if I put it, it looks like it's going to be bubbling up or creasing over and it's not going to have a perfect finish because of this limp. So I'm just going to go ahead and do just this flat rectangular um, spot instead. To the side. Oh, I know. He got me good in his pocket. I know that I'm just a treat. Well, the taste is better. Okay, so I went ahead and cut all of my strips for the dresser, these three here for this side. Um, so it will be a little bit more faster. So now we're gonna go ahead and start placing them on. As you can tell, it is gonna give a big difference to this dresser already. I am excited for this project. And plus, like I mentioned, it was very inexpensive because I got these at Dollar Tree. Um, so it's the, these are also the ones I used in my laundry room because I know a lot of people were asking about it. But yes, I got this one at the Dollar Tree as well. They also have the dark color if you don't like the light color. But we're aiming more for these lighter colors. That's why we went ahead and did the light color. But I don't have a clue. True talent in avoiding conversation. Yeah, it's almost rather cruel. Jilla wanted to help, like always, so she's smoothing out bubbles right now. Are you having fun, Jilla? Mm hmm <laughs> You always like helping mama, huh? Yeah, like for all the days. Yes, all the days you like helping mama. Okay, they're gone. They're gone? Okay, she says they're gone already. So now we need to make the little holes to put back in the little knobs right here so we're gonna go ahead and do that one and we also have to do the wallpaper on this side as well Love me 
And just like that, we have a whole new dresser over here for only a dollar. Well, actually, a dollar twenty-five because Dollar Tree is one twenty-five already. Um, but yeah, so I only used one row. I had actually bought two because I didn't know how much I was gonna use. And I actually like how I ended up just doing this and still keeping more white on here um, instead of doing this whole area right here. And then with the white doorknobs, I think it just looks so cute. Looks like if we bought a different dresser or something and yeah like i said it was just a super easy budget friendly makeover for this dresser for just a dollar 25 so if you guys have a dollar tree or walmart too you guys could buy one for a little bit more pricier um but it's an easy simple way to um do a makeover on a old dresser that you just want for like a new space or to look a little bit different so now I'm going to go ahead and start clearing off all of that, picking up all of my trash I have all around here, and we're going to go ahead and continue decorating. Do what you do, you know that all I think about is you, say the things you say, I don't know how you make me feel this way, I got you inside my head. I just wanted to quickly show you guys a little closer up of the lamp with all the clutter I am I did show you a little bit closer and um, before we started the second part of today's video um, but yeah this is what they look like they did come with the that type of light bulb as well and then all you do is just click here for on and off so that is very handy especially for Jayla it's so easy for Jayla to turn that light on and then yeah, it just has like a little wire mesh, like a bamboo style bottom and then the little black um, stand right there. And then you just change the light bulb up here. So I thought they were really cute, but once again, I will link them down. It did come with two of them. They're not pretty big. Um, as you can tell by my hand. It's not, they're not really, really big, but they still are very cute and very bright for the girls' this room. So now I'm thinking after I made this whole bed, I decided I'm wanting to do on the top of the girls' bed a basket wall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know it's the worst thing to think about after making the bed, but... I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know the bed's going to get messed up. We'll just refix it afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and play around and see what design I do with the basket walls. Because I'm so horrible at doing basket walls. Um, I just feel it's just such a big old challenge. But we're going to go ahead and give it a try. 
So to do my basketball, I'm gonna use the chargers. It's the, the ones I had in my living room wall before I did the board and batten. And then for a little bit of um, more of a like out like a dimension, I'm gonna use these old baskets that I have here. So these two are like pretty much the same. And then this is just like a more different one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lay them out actually here on the bed. Oh, I just noticed this basket style goes really good with that flower right there. So that's really good. But like I was saying, since the girl's bed is centered and I wanna do it from like this area here, if it's possible. Um, so I'm gonna lay them out on top here of the girls' beds, play around with it and figure out how I'm gonna do it before I actually start putting hose and putting it back um, while putting it up on the wall. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us. We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do. We shouldn't care about anyone or anything that brings us down. So come on now. Just keep on doing what you do, 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 doing what you do. Okay, so I finished the basket wall. I'm gonna reveal it to you guys here. So that's what it turned out looking like. So what I did was I laid it on here, as you guys saw. Then what I did was I took a picture with my camera from up above. And then I had it to um, be able to put the wall, the baskets on the wall. It's not perfect or like very amazing, um, but it is what it is. I know I have more baskets in the garage. I would have to look for them, but if they're not something I'm expecting, because I would also like let, like a different tone and shape instead of having them all circled because pretty much this one is like the only one that's really not circled it's more like a hexagon I think it is like a stop sign figure all of the rest are round um so if I could find a different shape then I will be adding them to like maybe here and here or pops of, of a different tone of the browns and so on but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that I still think it looks nice um but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that. So the next item that I ordered and arrived yesterday is these wall collage kits. So it's a 50 piece. Um, and here is the, they're all four by six inch um, wall art pieces. They, this one cost me like $9.99. So I have them laying out here. This is what had inspired our colors for this bedroom theme that we're doing i shared it over on instagram as well so if you're not following my instagram you guys should because that's where i share a lot of sneak peeks and everything of what we're doing so it, yeah like i mentioned we were doing the browns creams greens and this is where it was all inspired at um so yeah these feel like they're like pictures um but they're like in a matte color and it's a pretty it's a pretty good cardboard type um they're not that that flexible but they are a bit flexible so they have all kinds of different designs and leaves and colors and a little bit of everything like this one has a little saying that says classic and has like a little flower drawn on there and then this one just has like showing like a sheet like a very with all the fibers the texture to the sheet then there's this one like some feet with heels there's a leopard one a dog one for everybody who's a dog lover um we don't have a dog like this kind ours is super small but there's that dog one there's this tree well there's pot with the leaf in there this one says don't stop until you're proud this is another one that says positive energy. So yeah, you guys get a little bit of an idea. Oh, this one is very pretty I like this one. So focus. Okay, there it goes. So there's this one. There's just like so many. It's like if we went out and took pictures 
um, like on a vacation or something. So these look really, really cute. Look, here's a, one of the ocean waves, and then here's another one. So yeah, there's pretty much like all kinds of different ones. I don't know if we're gonna be using all of them. Oh, this one is really cute too. I'm not sure if we're gonna use all, focus. I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of them. Um, and I'm not sure what order we're gonna put them up, but we're gonna figure it out. And here's some that is like a macaroons. So yeah, so that's part of our art. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna place it like around the TV area. These walls over here, I don't know what I'm doing there. I wanna do a curtain maybe. Um, so probably a curtain over there, but I think I'm gonna do the wall art like where the TV's at, like that ways around. So we're gonna figure that out and we'll see how that turns out. So before I could do the wall, I'm actually gonna put some decor on the girls' dresser here. So that's what we're gonna be working on now. declutter Jilla's desk here it has tons of items in here so we're gonna go ahead and go we're gonna go ahead and go through it and see what's good and what is not good Okay, so I'm already done with the girls' room. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and share with you guys how it all turned out. I'm excited for my older daughter to get home from school and see how her room turned out since Jayla already saw the bill for Jayla. It's not a big thing. Um, she was excited for some stuff, especially like the wall that we did back here. She was excited to help me as well. Um, so yeah, I think this room turned out just very good. It's not ram packed with stuff i do still want to put 
a curtain up here maybe like a sheer curtain so i knew i need to get a curtain rod for that i'm still gonna be on the lookout for some like um um some macrame some macrame uh for the wall is there but yeah i think that's pretty much all that i'm just gonna be searching for is just macrame as the the curtain well the curtain rod i already have the curtain and then maybe some more baskets for the basket wall or maybe to switch it up or something so like i mentioned i am going to turn the camera around ready for you guys and let you guys see how everything turned out as if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads over here on my channel if you're new i do share lots of home decor decorating is the main thing i love decorating and i also do share um a lot of cleaning videos also so if you're ever in need of uh, some cleaning motivation is this so yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope to see you all in the next one bye I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with 